um, and black and white mood today. So hopefully you don't mind. How are you doing my stars? Welcome on my replay viewers. And as you're coming on live, let me know how you are today. It's sunny outside after a long time here in Prague. So five changes that always bring results. That's today's topic. Hello, Martin. We're going to make it short and sweet because those two little angels today decided they're not going to have their nap after lunch. So they're next room and I have to go back to them. Hey, Johnny. So guys, five changes that always bring results. And let me start with an example. Let's say you are running, driving somewhere, you are visiting your family, you are making a trip to some special place, you want to see some castle, whatever. You are driving somewhere, you are on a highway, in your car, what do you do? Do you close your eyes and imagine that beautiful castle that you just want to see, you've seen the picture, you've seen... Um, you've seen how beautiful the surrounding is, how you will look outside the window and visit each room, or you actually focus on the driving and everything that is happening around you, around like all the other cars, what you're supposed to do with the car so you don't miss the exit. And are you in a place or do you focus on the, on the destination? It's the same with business. If you focus just on your goal, just change the mind, mind how you think. You, don't, you cannot focus on your goal and forget the process. Focus on the activity that you're doing right now that will get you there. That will bring so better results than didn't you have. And don't focus on the results, focus on the commitment. So if you are, let's say, let, let's stay with the car. I like the car examples. Hey, Emily, if you're in the car, I would rather have you commit that on your way to job every single morning, you will listen to corporate call or the training or motivation video or podcast or whatever, then the result that you're going to change your mindset or something. You Know, that you don't work on your personal development. I'd rather have you focus on the activity and on the commitment than on the goals or the results. See where I'm getting? And the same thing maybe with, with your thoughts when you're thinking. And throughout the day, me, myself, we have several moments where we start thinking negative. Something comes, someone tells, tells us something, it makes us maybe even mad <laughs> or disappointed or something. All that negative stuff, the moment you realize it hits your head, I recommend you just beat it with something positive. Be aware of what you're thinking. Just make yourself a challenge, like for three days that you will really be careful what you think about throughout the day with everything that you do through that day and it can it doesn't have to be always business oriented it can be with your with your family stuff or whatever like your colleagues at work the moment where you hit where your head hits something negative beat it up with with some positive stuff hey elizabeth and vicky great to see you live guys and chris how are you guys today <laughs> five things that will always bring results. That's today's topic. So, your thoughts is the next one. And one other change regarding maybe the way you look at what you do. You have to do it with your heart. I when you, when you started, there were there were probably two parts. One was your emotion, how you felt about it, and the second one was educated decision, right? But the heart is so important. It's that commitment. When you show your prospects and customers your heart, hello Amelia, and your commitment to them. When it's not about you, when it's about them, that's where the the change will happen and you have to stop make it about you it's it's like when you are stuck in your business and you cannot move 
to a next level or you stop because you don't have results and you just kind of feel you need to like refocus and, and it's hard to get back into the game that moment is is so crucial you need to actually beat yourself up you need to be your own mentor your own coach like athletes they have someone who beats their asses every single day to get out there but in this you are kind of alone even if you have a good sponsor or mentor you're the one who have to be committed and show up every single day no matter what you have to be the one who has to kick your ass to do something right so stop really stop focusing maybe on you and start focusing on others and uh, another point of view of this is hey Ashley another point of view is you're being selfish there are so many people struggling at this point and you had the heart you have the commitment you have the expertise and you're not willing to share it with them they would kill for what you know they would kill for your product they their health in is such a bad shape let's say if you're in health and wellness industry they would have such a result with your product and you're not willing to share it with them because you fear it's about you your fear or is it that you really want to help when i ask someone why do you do this because i want to help but then you don't go and you don't share what you have you have to share that's your responsibility to share it with others right stop being selfish another change is a plan and you heard it hear, hear it all the time scheduling right you need to know what to do when to do it and how to do it and uh, what i recommend is schedule everything like all the activities that you do and mix it up because I don't know if you for example had a burnout what did you call that burnout when you really crash because you work too much I had that I've seen people have it and it's not nothing nothing nice so you need to schedule rest you need to schedule time for yourself you need to schedule time with your family and you need to mix up the activities like I let's say when I make full call phone calls I am I'm walking around the room so I when I schedule my time I make sure that after let's say I engage on my computer I'll go have a have a few phone calls so I can walk around the room and actually mix up my sitting with standing you know like mix up the activities and you actually avoid distractions when you do different things make like like small chunks of time for certain activity like 15 30 minutes maybe and that way you actually avoid distractions because you know you 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 don't do one thing for two hours and you focus much more say no to Ashley even if you feel like they're going to say no to your product message me with that that's like whole another story <laughs> okay message me with that and I'll, I'll help you with that so uh very variety of activities and have fun hello ricky great to see you have fun with what you do you can you you are the boss of your schedule you are you are you can do whatever you want guys <laughs> But when you focus, like seriously, when you focus on the activities regarding um, regarding the business and regarding moving you to the next level, you focus, again, back to those things. Fun is necessary. It is, right? <laughs> We're having fun, right, Nikki? <laughs> Nikki? Okay, so you have to focus on the activities. You have to focus on the commitment you need to beat all the negative thoughts that you have with the positive ones the moment it hits your mind you have to lead with your heart do it with your heart do it for other people forget the the you part i am afraid uh you know it, it is my challenge my fear 
my whatever, you know, I cannot do this. I, 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 my success, my results, my paycheck, my commission, forget the my and start doing you, them, not you, them. <laughs> okay. And plan, plan and have fun with it. So hopefully these are helpful. Everyone that just jump online, watch the replay. These are big ones. And if you implement just at least a few of these, you will see a big change in what will happen. It was great to see you. If you got value from this video, drop value in the comments. So uh, I know that uh, it's good to do more of these and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.